Hey everybody, I'm Nick from Negley's Water. Uh, today we are going to read a book about the water cycle called Drop. But before we do that, uh, Negley's Water has been family owned and operated since 1979. Uh, we can help you feel better about your water. Uh, we specialize in wells, pumps, water treatment, geothermal, and we have an amazing customer service team. Uh, we are specialists from below the ground to your kitchen sink. We have locations in Martinsburg, West Virginia, Hagerstown, Maryland, Greencastle, Pennsylvania, Newburgh, Pennsylvania, and Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Also, look for us at your local Lowe's, where we are offering free in-home water analysis and consultations. So we'll test you right from your tap and offer you an education about your water right from your kitchen table. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, uh, this is Drop. Uh, this is by Emily Kate Moon. Um, it's an adventure through the water cycle. Now, before we go on, Drop, here he is. Hi, she's water, and she's seen a thing or two, even dinosaurs. Everywhere Drop flows, and she flows everywhere. She makes life on Earth possible and has a great time doing it. Have you ever plummeted from a rain cloud or taken a thousand year nap in a glacier? Draw pass. She'll tell you all about it with, with a lot of humor in this book too. So let's get into it. Um, before we go, we're gonna look into what the water cycle is. Now we know that water can be a liquid. Um, it can. Uh, when it's a liquid, it can be called water. Water can also be a solid. It can be called ice or snow. Um, and then the other part that it can be, um, the other state, is water can be a gas. And not the gas that you guys are all giggling about, but it can be a water vapor. Water moves freely from state to state, depending on temperature and pressure. So when water evaporates, it moves from liquid to gas. When water condenses, it moves from gas to liquid. So when water freezes, it moves from liquid to solid. When water melts, it moves from solid to liquid. Now, when water crystallizes, it moves from gas to solid. And when water sublimates, it moves from solid to gas and skips the whole melting part. So there's a lot about water that maybe we already know, we have some prior knowledge, but we're gonna learn some more stuff today. So this is water. Hi, I'm Drop. Now, Drop lives here on planet Earth. You know it, you love it, that's where you're from. She has been here for, now look at all these zeros, four and a half billion years. Now, why do you think the author included a number like that? Think about that for a second. Well, that's a big number. Did it get your attention? Oh boy, I'm sure it did. Now, I'm four and a half billion. Now, drop a scene or thing or two. Oh, hello there. Now, you're looking, you're thinking, wow, I know a little bit about something like that. So, drop that water that maybe is in your glass might have been around when the dinosaurs were alive. She has lounged in every lake. Luxury. Now, the author thinks that you know what luxury is. Maybe some of you do. Maybe some of you don't. But luxury means like high class, like really nice. And soaked in every sea. Ha ha, so much sea to sea. Ah, the author's having some fun here. Um, that's a homophone. Homo means same, phone means sound. So same sound, but these are different meaning words. Now, Drop spends most of her time in the ocean. She rides waves, woohoo, and drifts on gentle currents, sweet. Now, why do you think that Drop spends most of her time on her in the ocean? Well, that's where most of the water is, in the ocean. She sunbathes on the surface of the sea. Ah, this is sea life. Now, the sun fills Drop with energy. She gets all warm and wiggly, then she pops off the surface of the water and floats into the air. Mm, all bouncy, pouncy, poof. Here I go. And there it is. You see it's changing its state. Invisible drop bounces it around the air for day. Abracadabra. Ta-da. 
when she gets colder and less bouncy, she reappears from teeny tiny droplets. Now, her friends show up too. So Drop and her friends like to get together and hang out. Bonding time. So when a lot of them get together, they make clouds. Clouds are cool, figuratively and literally. So a crowded cloud can become quite an event. Drop and her friends bounce around so much that guess what? They create sparks. Eek! Their clouds turn electric. Downright shocking. It can get loud and dark, but Drop hangs in there. Oh, we've got this, guys. She knows it will all be worth it. Because that's when Drop gets to be rain. Woo! So Drop has been every kind of rain there is. From sprinkling, drizzling, pouring, sprinkalicious, drippity drip, splishity splash. She's been hail and snow too. Snow day. Drop loves the adventure of it. Ice ball. And she never knows where she'll fall. Now, what do you think might influence where she might fall? What things in the air might move her around? Well, you guessed it, wind. <laughs> if she makes it to a mountain, she may slip into a stream. Tickle a trickle, dive off a cliff, super drop, roll down a window, yes, and land in the lake. Hi, new home. If she freezes in the snow or ice, she may be stuck somewhere for thousands of years. Brrr. Drop has been in glaciers. Oh, are we there yet? And icebergs. <laughs> I guess I got to be cool with this for a long, long time. If she falls in a forest, she may trickle down a tree and soak into the soil. Hi, tree. She could sink to the bedrock and rest with the groundwater. Or she could get pulled up in by roots. Getting back to my roots. She could be sucked up through the stems, up, 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 and pushed out through a leaf. What a ride! Everywhere she floats, drop, keeps things moving. She even moves through plants and animals. Ha, huh, so busy. And drop travels from flower nectar to bees and butterflies. That sequence, nectar, bees, butterflies. Hmm. Why is this important? What would moving that nectar from a bee to a, and a butterfly, why is that important? Well, if you're thinking pollination, you're right. Look at those wings. She fills fruit with juice for birds and bears. And you know who else? Mm. You, yeah, you, the person that's treating this, you. Every time you eat or drink, drop also gets to flow into you. And that's when a whole new adventure begins. Yeah! Guys, thank you so much for reading with me. Um, if you want to learn more about your water or Negley's water, feel free to scan this code with permission from your parent or guardian. But uh, thanks again for reading with us today. Um, if you have any questions, scan this code and hopefully you can find your answers. Until next time, thank you for reading with us.